Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Blair or the Illuminati and today we're talking about yet another horrific business and one you may not have actually heard of and they're called Bright Ocular. Now this company does eye surgeries and has apparently caused blindness in some of their clients. It's a whole interesting tangle of shady shenanigans. So let's get right into the video. Now, before I get into the controversies, let's start off with answering the question, who is Bright Ocular? Originally, when this topic was requested to me in my Discord server, I believe, I thought they might be some shady laser eye surgery place. However, that's not what they are at all. They're actually promoting eye surgery to change the color of your eyes. Not so you can see better, not for medical reasons. This is purely for aesthetic purposes only. But in case you didn't know for some reason, eye color is a genetic thing. Genetic makeup determines the amount of melanin in the eye. In eye color, there isn't blue or green pigment. All eye colors have the same brown melanin incapable of refracting light. The difference in eye colors is due to the concentration and location of the brown melanin on the two layers of the iris. People with brown eyes have melanin on the back layer of the iris and some on the front layer, which absorbs more light and causes the iris to look brown. Eyes with no melanin on the upper layer of the iris scatter light so that more blue light reflects out so that the eye appears blue. So in order to change this, Bright Ocular applies artificial iris implants, a method they say was first created for people that have poor vision due to light sensitivities. Now this much is true, iris implants are a thing and they're not making that up, but only a handful of ophthalmolic surgeons in the US perform iris reconstructive surgeries because according to the American Academy of Ophthalmology, they have to endure the red tape, regulatory setbacks and hours of uncompensated time spent filing documents to obtain permission to implant the devices. Because there are no FDA approved iris prosthesis, permission is granted to US surgeons through investigational or compassionate use exemptions only. Now, this article was written in 2013 and it wasn't until five years later in 2018 that the FDA approved the first artificial iris. So this is just to say that the technology is new, not terrible or defective, but it's new. And it was approved according to the FDA's website to treat adults and children whose iris is completely missing or damaged. Congenital aniridia is a rare genetic disorder in which the iris is completely or partially absent. It affects approximately one in 50,000 to 100,000 people in the US. The iris controls the amount of light entering the eye and those with aniridia have sensitivity to light and other severe vision problems. In addition to congenital aniridia, the Custom Flex Artificial Iris is indicated to treat iris defects due to other reasons or conditions, such as albinism, traumatic injury, or surgical removal due to melanoma. So from the sounds of things, it's used quite sparingly. Apparently this technology has been around in Europe for a bit longer than in the US. So again, that's not to say that passionate doctors can't get it right. But I think it's the way Bright Ocular presents itself that I take issue with. They are a company that does this artificial iris treatment, but just so your eyes look cool. On their front page, they have a slideshow filled with men and women with stunning silver blue, deep green, and blue green eyes. Like, yeah, they look gorgeous with those eye colors to the point where it looks like it's contacts or heavy Photoshopping. Whereas with another doctor that performs the surgery, their photos show how this has been used in patients that need it. And the page states they cannot guarantee a perfect color match and far more disclaimers. I'm not saying this procedure should never ever be done for cosmetic reasons, if it were safe, that is. If you want to make your eyes black from getting them tattooed or get surgery to have them turn blue, well, I've got no right to tell anyone how to spend their money. It's just about the seemingly casual attitude of bright ocular that rubs me the wrong way. Like here on their about page, they say it's not recommended for merely cosmetic purposes. And yet all the shots they have on their homepage and most of the shots on their gallery are just glamor shots of how striking their contacts look. Maybe I'm reading too deep into this. So let's just jump into some real tea, how they've caused blindness. In recent years, stories have come out about women losing their vision. Some of the images are a bit graphic and I apologize in advance for that but that's kind of your warning as well. One story explains that these prosthetics actually chafe the eye and cause pieces of the iris to fall away. Welcome back to Good Morning San Antonio. It is 643, changing the color of your eyes if you're into that sort of thing. Most look to contacts for a temporary change, but there are those who are looking for a permanent change, looking to procedures that might 
only not only result in vision loss, but actually losing the eye. It doesn't sound like a very good idea. Stephanie Cerner reports local doctors say these eye fads are dangerous and they are not FDA approved. We want to warn you, you may find some of this story kind of hard to watch. Social media stars Nadine Bruna and her twin sister were offered a chance to change the color of their eyes, but they had to fly to Columbia for the procedure. After the procedure, Nadine lost 50% of her vision. To my sister, I, I want to kill myself. Dr. Tommy Stark, who specializes in refractive surgery, says the procedure is not approved by the FDA and involves placing a colored silicone implant in front of the iris. The problem is that that's a location that no contact should be placed there. And just the fact that it's sitting on top of the regular color part of the iris is chafing all the time. Dr. Stark says that chafing causes pieces of the iris to float inside the eye and they get clogged up, producing severe glaucoma. These patients are very, very light sensitive because there is chronic inflammation inside of the eye. Um, this is potentially blinding procedure as well. Also potentially blinding, scleral tattooing. On the scleral tattoo, uh, people try to change the color, the white part of the eye, to a dark color like a tattoo. And they inject the ink or the tattoo uh, under the conjunctiva. And um, this is performed by people who are not trained to put injections in the eye. Stark says in many cases, people who get this done could not only lose their sight, but their entire eye. And for those who use contact lenses to change eye color, there's a risk there too. Dr. Stark says if there's not adequate care, you can develop serious infections. Stephanie Serna, Case at 12 News. And that sounds like a bit of a fucking horror movie to me. There's been a lot of recent YouTube videos as well of people speaking out against Bright Ocular and some needing surgery to remove the implant altogether because of the damage it caused. One woman said that after only six to eight months, she's losing her sight and doctors can't help her. And it's honestly devastating to hear her tell the camera, I'm gonna go blind, please don't do bright ocular. There's also a pretty graphic video from Eye Associates of South Texas that show an implant removal. If you're curious to see how these things work, I have to say it, it makes me nauseous a little bit, but you can take a look at it. It is interesting, but very graphic. And for those of you with weak stomachs, I can't blame you. This thing basically made me gag. Just think of like this little ring, this little weird plasticky looking colored ring that's directly over your iris. It's not an eye contact, it's just a donut shape over the colored part of your eye and doctors literally have to cut it out. Like I couldn't watch the whole thing. It was a bit much for me. Gooey eye surgery is just, ugh, it's not my gig. But there are plenty of videos and testimony out there of complications and devastating effects from this surgery. One case in particular that I've seen is that of Tiny Harris. Tamika, AKA Tiny Harris, went overseas for this controversial surgery. ABC News covered the story in 2014. She used bright ocular, but traveled to Africa to have it done because bright ocular isn't even legal in the US. Though we'll get more into the business aspects and things like that later. However, what's truly bothered people about her isn't the fact that she had the surgery done, but how she's essentially going around and advertising bright ocular to others, despite the blindness they've caused for many. Harris drew fire online Monday after she confirmed in an Instagram post that she used bright ocular to make the color change and thank the doctor who performed the procedure, writing in part, huge thanks to the incredible doctors for the amazing experience and for making my dream come true. I hated wearing contacts just for the color and it made my vision blurry. Blessed to say my vision is hashtag perfect after my hashtag ice gray implants. Special thanks to the hashtag bright ocular staff for all that you've done to make this process happen. You're amazing and thank you to the hospital staff for your exceptional customer service as well. She's also mentioned people living with eye conditions such as ocular albinism, aniridia, and iris coloboma writing, bright ocular can help you, she wrote. Her post included a caution that any procedure has potential risk, but continued, no one has gone blind with bright ocular and the success rate has been close to 100%. She also gave her followers a promo code that they could use to get a deal on future bright ocular services. And this is where I start to get pissed. Like it's one thing to say bright ocular worked for her, but to advertise this dangerous procedure to her followers, like fuck that, that's seriously irresponsible. If I ever use my platform to advocate some like risky medical procedure with proven dangers and side effects, like literally unfollow me and take away my platform. I thought advertising that skinny tea bullshit was bad enough on Instagram, but this shit takes it to a whole nother level. 
Call it controversial if you like, but medical studies have shown this is in fact dangerous. And that alone tells me anyone with a following should not be promoting this procedure as a fun and safe and quirky way to get a fun eye color, because it's not. One article published on July 18th, 2018 on the National Library of Medicine from the American Journal of Ophthalmology states this, phacic intraocular lenses, PIOLs, are known to lead to endothelial loss. Much of the damage has been shown to occur in the early post-operative period, consistent with endothelial trauma caused by an anterior segment procedure. Other purported causes of endothelial damage include intermittent endothelial lens touch and persistent inflammation. It can be extrapolated that such mechanisms would be at play with the bright ocular implant, which is even closer to the endothelium than the PIOL. Our patient did not have significant inflammation, so that was unlikely a prominent factor in endothelial damage. While the hinges of the implant embed into the peripheral iris and supposedly do not contact the cornea, intermittent iris cornea touch is certainly a possibility for the damage observed. Unlike the designs of the artificial irises used to treat pathology, the hinge mechanism in the anterior chamber is both more anterior and less secure than its sulcus fixation and cavation or in the bag techniques used for more proven models. Cosmetic iris implants, including the newer generation of bright ocular devices, have been shown to have severely detrimental effects on corneal integrity. These devices should not be implanted and removal on an urgent basis should be recommended to mitigate risk to ocular health and preserve vision. The point here is, as I've been saying, it's not completely safe yet, at least not for cosmetic purposes. Even if Tiny Harris wants to argue that people aren't going blind, they've been proven to cause so many issues. This article also makes the point that iris implants used for actual medical treatments have received the Conformity European label, indicating compliance with European Union healthcare standards. These implants are typically inserted into the capsular bag or are part of the intraocular IOL lens complex. The safety of these models has been relatively well-established and their purpose is for treating ocular pathology. This is in contrast to the bright ocular and new color iris implants, whose safety has not been adequately demonstrated and whose purpose is primarily elective and cosmetic. Bright ocular not only doesn't really compare to the safety of the medical implants, but again, they don't meet healthcare standards. When plastic surgery is cheap, it's cheap for a reason. If a cosmetic procedure is illegal, it's illegal for a reason. No matter how striking those eyes on their website might look, I don't think it's worth it. Besides, blue contacts aren't exactly expensive and they are removable. Now, granted, I do know that there are some contact brands out there that do colors that are also just as shitty and can hurt and mess up your eyes, but that's a story for a different day. So let's move on to some of the illegal and shady aspects of the world of eye-changing surgery as promised. One article from ID shed a bit more light on the subject and where it all comes from. Back in 2016, they wrote, Marilyn Manson is the poster boy for unnatural eye color. His single white contact lens is as iconic as it is demonic. And while it's hard to imagine what could be more extreme, the field of cosmetic surgery has now outdone him. See the new trend for surgically permanently changing your eye color, no contacts required, just $8,000 and a plane ticket to Mexico. Here's how the procedure works. An incision is made on the surface of the eyeball. Don't watch this video if you're squeamish. A folded implant is inserted and unfolded to cover the iris. The slit is stretched up and your eyes are now ice gray, baby blue, amber, or whatever option you choose from the menu. While the surgery isn't approved by the US Food and Drug Administration, a growing number of people are both choosing to pay for the procedure and the cost of traveling to a country where it's legal. They're flying to countries including Mexico, Panama, and India and returning with eyes in sci-fi shades. Last year, R&B singer Tiny Harris, the wife of rapper T.I., traveled to Tunisia and changed her eye color from brown to ice gray via an iris implant. That's the color I purchased, she told ABC News. And when asked how she feels about her new eyes, she added, they're amazing, I love them. Her daughter, Zonique, also went ice gray. And yeah, you heard that right. Apparently, it wasn't just enough for Tiny to change her eyes, but she may have convinced or persuaded her daughter to do the same. Zonique isn't a minor, so I don't want people jumping into the comments below saying how terrible it was for Tiny to change her child's eyes like that. But she was a young adult when she had it done, and unfortunately, it didn't turn out so well for her. 
Zanique told one fan on Instagram that her experience wasn't best for the long term, even though her mom's turned out just fine. And yeah, the argument that everyone is different holds true here to some extent. But there's enough people with severe complications that I don't think this should be done in the first place. The ID article continues, but things haven't been so positive for everyone who's undergone the surgery. A patient who wishes to remain anonymous admits in a YouTube video that she changed her eye color last year and already regrets her decision. She says, I just wanted something subtle and natural. My pupils do not dilate anymore and I feel like a vampire. All the little kids are scared of me. And then there are many stories of people who have decided to remove their implants after experiencing complications. One person I spoke with who traveled to Panama for the procedure says that he is suffering from cataracts, red eyes, blurry vision, and secondary glaucoma. Just having the implants in your eyes causes them to swell, he explains. You have to use anti-inflammatory drops for the rest of your life, he says, adding, please don't be that stupid. Your health is more important. Of course, the medical centers that offer the procedures disagree. C.B. Joyce, a representative of Dr. Shibu Varki, a cosmetic eye surgeon in India, told me over email, we have been doing this procedure successfully and with the utmost patient satisfaction for more than five years. If the risk of losing your vision or having your eyes permanently damaged is worth them being blue, then go off, I suppose. But obviously the people promoting these surgeries are going to say they've had the utmost patient satisfaction, whether or not that's true. I'd love to see interviews of some of those patients years down the road. Apparently there's even new ways of doing this, a walk-in procedure that literally burns away melanin in your eyes, which yeah, that's about as horrifying as it gets, like no thank you. Dr. Robert Seekert, an associate professor of ophthalmology at NYU Langone Medical Center says, when you burn the brown pigment away with a laser, the debris that is created in the front of the eye, think of it as ashes resulting from burning anything, is likely to clog up the microscopic channels in front of the eye, known as the trabecular meshwork. It is very likely to cause a high pressure in the eye known as glaucoma. That's why I think companies like Bright Ocular are so incredibly dangerous. Right now they're offering these shady implants, but what if this new tech entices them and they literally start burning people's eyes and causing even more damage than they already have? Plus, why the fuck would you think blue eyes are worth this potential damage for the rest of your life? The extent some people have gone in order to do this, like flying overseas only to be told that they're gonna live with eye problems for the rest of their life, like it's heartbreaking. Here's one man's story about his experience. Omar Sabuding said he always wanted to change his brown eyes to blue, but the procedure he had been looking at that uses colored silicone implants to change eye color is illegal in the United States. So he packed his bags and headed to Tunisia to have the procedure done for $6,500 at a company called Bright Ocular. Sabuding said he liked what he saw in the mirror after the procedure, but something wasn't right. This is going to sound crazy, but I just saw two raisins, you know? the black spots because I'm not used to seeing it like that. I had to get used to it, you know? Even though I liked it, I saw the pictures, but when I saw myself in pictures in the mirror, I was like, I don't know. That's why just a few weeks later, he had the artificial iris implants removed from his eyes, but the damage was already done. His irises were permanently deformed and he was temporarily blinded. He spent the following six days at the hospital. The only thing I was thinking during that time when I couldn't see anything was my family all the appearance, all the shallowness, it didn't mean anything. You know, it made me think. It's sad that I had to go so far for me to realize it, he said. And this is only after a few weeks. I can only imagine what would have happened had he kept them in longer. Well, honestly, I don't have to imagine. One woman, Nadine, lost 80% of her vision in her right eye and 50% in her left eye. Just like Omar, she regrets the experience and it's with no ill intent that I'll say she does very different. I hope she can embrace her look and learn to love her eyes the way they are now, but I can understand why. Like with the rest of the examples we saw earlier, those eyes would be difficult to live with. It presents a whole new set of challenges that I highly doubt anyone was thinking when they got this surgery. But then again, we have Tiny on Instagram who has the audacity to say that no one's gone blind from it. Like what, do people have to lose their vision completely on a regular basis to convince her that this might not be as safe as she thinks? I'm not saying colored contacts don't do any damage whatsoever because there most certainly are stories of that, but they should be from a reputable supplier and require a prescription to you know, not be dangerous, but at least those aren't permanent, altering and damaging when used properly. Now, as for the legality, well, one Trustpilot review says Bright Ocular was banned in Mexico and the testimonials on YouTube were fabricated. 
Another says they had the procedure seven years ago and now have lost 60% of their vision. Yet another review states the implants don't even look real. And then another says they don't care if it goes wrong. The implants are illegal in the US as well as the UK and the American Academy of Ophthalmology, the American Glaucoma Society, and the Contact Lens Association of Ophthalmologists all strongly discourage anyone from undergoing this surgery. And yet here we are talking about people that believe the rewards outweigh the risks. And that's partly thanks to how Bright Ocular is marketing themselves as well. The implants are heavily marketed. These are very savvy presented on the internet. And there's a lot of misleading information about FDA approved material and US patent studies. Of course, there are no studies, Tal Raviv MD said at Cornea Day preceding the American Society of Cataract and Refractive Surgery meeting. And the reality is this causes such horrific damage. The two major brands of iris implants are New Color Iris and Bright Ocular. There were more than 700 patients implanted with the New Color Iris implants in Panama from 2006 to 2010. In a study Raviv and colleagues conducted in 2012, more than 50% of patients who received the New Color Iris implants needed secondary surgery and sometimes multiple surgeries. There are severe and irreversible complications. This is not a reversible procedure. It's just a removable implant, he said. The problem with these implants is that we cannot size them and they are interior chamber lenses that basically touch the angle 360 degrees and cause severe damage. If the patient is showing early signs of iritis, high IOP, pupil ovalization under the implant, corneal decomposition or cataract, Revive recommended that the surgeon should immediately explant the iris implant. Do not delay and do not hesitate to tell the patient that this is extremely dangerous, he said. As frustrating as it is to watch this all unfold, as it is with any company that's hurting people, I'm glad that I'm not the only one taking issue with their marketing tactics and the cosmetic and casual attitude they seem to have towards these implants. If their success rate is only 50% and the other 50% need multiple surgeries, then I'm glad these are illegal in so many places. And I'm glad that so many people are speaking out about their experiences because regardless of if they've done everything right or may just feel stupid for falling for the scammy company, it's important that we hear these stories and recognize how frequent this damage does occur when you get this procedure done. So please, if this happened to you, warn other people and just in general, spread this message around. This shouldn't be something that people pay thousands of dollars for only to permanently like fuck up their eyes forever. But with that being said, that's where I'm gonna end today's video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And if you liked today's video or learned something new in it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe for some more content just like this. If you want more content from me, including all the sources I used for this video, my social media, other channels and projects I'm involved with, links for everything will be in the description box down below. So again, guys, thank you so much for making it to today's video. I love you and don't do this procedure and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.